Hi, Grace Point. Uh, I'm imagining that I am standing in the Grace Point Church building, looking at all of your lovely faces. I miss you all deeply, and I am praying and hoping that you are all doing well and believing that the Lord is working mightily in each and every one of your lives. Um, I am so privileged and feel so honored to be a part of Saturate again this year. Um, thank you, Rob, for um, sending an invitation to be a part of this, um, to talk on this topic of foundations, putting in the big rocks first. But how do we prepare the ground before we put in the big rocks? That's where I felt like the Lord began turning the wheels in my brain and my heart. And so I was looking in Luke 6, and this is a classic timeless parable that we all know that can sometimes be like, oh, yeah, 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 I know that one. But it's so rich. So um, just open your ears and your heart and your mind and receive. Um, out of Luke 6, uh, verses 46 through 49, it says, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I tell you? Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. And when a flood arose, the stream broke against that house and could not shake it because it had been built well. But the one who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the stream broke against it, immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great. So... I began thinking about what the process is actually like when someone is building a house. And oftentimes they do, they actually will dig um, down into the dirt, depending on if they're doing a basement or if it's one level, uh, it depends on how deep they dig. But they first dig out the ground, and then before they ever lay the foundation, this is where they put in the big rocks. They put in those footers um, that they then lay the foundation on. Because if you just lay the foundation on on the ground then potentially moisture or the dirt can shift or what other other things waters whatever may um, impact it could potentially crack or ruin the foundation therefore impacting the rest of the house so I just found myself wondering and wanted to present this question before you all and that's what do you need to dig up and excavate in order to prepare the ground to lay a foundation. So what is the Holy Spirit saying to you? What do you need to excavate? I found myself one time asking the Lord, what does my foundation look like? And he's so kind in showing the potential and possibility of having such a beautifully intricate foundation, yet it takes work to prepare and to maintain. There's a quote by Morgan Snyder that I feel like uh, really emulates this idea of excavating the ground. And he says, In the journey to recover the ancient path, we come to the sobering reality that we cannot build before we have properly excavated. To become a king or queen, we must give our strength to the sacred work of excavating before we can participate with God in the process of building in his way and in his time. So there could be a multitude of things that, you know, everyone is different that the Holy Spirit may be highlighting. What, what are things in your life that you need to excavate? Is it, is it fear or anxiety? Is it busyness? Is it avoiding spending time with the Lord? Is it pride, greed, self-righteousness? Uh, the list could go on, right? Um, but the Holy Spirit is speaking to each one of us. Hey, nudge, nudge. Take a look at this. I think that we can grow in this together. Uh, just even the other day, I yesterday was uh, dealing with some emotions and fear and anxiety that was coming up in me, and I'm like, I have to surrender this to the Lord. What does that look like? And the Lord is so kind to lead me through a process, and I whipped out my journal and um, expressed what I was feeling, and he brought scripture to mind. You know, it's this process of, of recognizing, uh, repenting, and returning. So confessing and then replacing whatever that habit is that, that the Holy Spirit is highlighting, replacing it with 
the word of truth. And so we want to prepare the ground so that um, we can have a solid and firm foundation in, in Jesus Christ, you know, as we co-labor with Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I just encourage you to ask Holy Spirit how he is working and moving and how he is leading you um, to prepare your ground, to put the big rocks in. I love you all deeply, and I miss you all. Hugs and loves all around. Wishing you all well. Mwah.